my dear students and viewers assalamu alaikum welcome to my online class i am murshida imam assistant professor department of english government shohit sohrawardi college dhaka according to the new routine of english department today i will conduct a class for the students of honors fourth year department of english my dear students hope all of you are fine and enjoying your online classes at first i want to declare the topic which we are going to read yes the topic is songs and lovers by d h lawrence and you know songs and lovers is a novel what is a novel yes you also know it that is novel is a long work of prose fiction containing characters and action portrayed in the form of a plot and uh, you also know the novel aims to present a picture of real life in the historical period and society in which it is set my dear students today i will discuss on the life and works of d h lawrence and in our next class i will introduce you with the characters of the novel and i will also try to analyze the characters and uh, i will also uh, try to give you an idea about the main theme of the novel so uh, i uh, at first i would like to discuss the life and works of d h lawrence d h lawrence that is david herbert lawrence was one of the most prolific writers of the early 20th century particularly remembered for his ground breaking psychological novels and he also wrote essays letters poems plays travel books and short stories david herbert lawrence was born on 11 september 1885 in eastwood nottinghamshire and he was the fourth child of a miner and an ex school teacher In 1898 Lawrence won a scholarship to Nottingham High School and in 1906 he trained as a teacher at Nottingham University College. He taught at an elementary school in Croydon and began writing poems and short stories. My dear students, his first novel The White Peacock was published in 1911. just weeks after the death of his mother after which he became seriously ill he left teaching and wrote the trespasser this was followed by sons and lovers his first major work and a semi autobiographical account of his early life and the ambiguous relations he shared with his parents in Uh, January 1912 Lawrence met Freda von Christophen that is the, the wife of his former professor and mother of three children and the students they fell in love with Stanley and left for Germany together in May uh, my dear students then uh, this uh, then he wrote uh, the rainbow uh, in and it was published in september 1915 and he also wrote uh, women in love and uh, dissolution with england and its narrow minded rejection of his work he and freda left it for good in 1919 and uh, the lost girl yeah, it was published in 1920 won the james state black memorial prize and was followed by Aaron Aaron's Road after traveling ex- uh, extensively Lawrence published four intensely personal travel books that is Kangaroo in 1923 a novel written and set in Australia and a book of literary criticism studies in classic american literature while at the villa miranda in florence he wrote his last novel Lady Chatterley's Lover which was published privately in 1928 however it was not published in its complete form in England and the United States 
until over 30 years later after an infamous trial attempted to ban it on the grounds of obscenity. Lawrence's uh, health always shaky declined sharply in 1930 and in March of the same year that is in 1930 he died of tuberculosis in Vence, France. My dear students, Sons and Lovers uh, published in 1913 examines the claustrophobic relationship Lawrence had with his mother, an obsession which, which temporarily swamped him. The book also reveals an understanding for his father, whom he seemingly hated and a latent sense of guilt at his harsh treatment of him is evident. The passion which Paul Morel, the book's protagonist, feels for Miriam was based on Lawrence's close personal friendship with his with Jesse Chambers, a local farmer's daughter, when he was 16. Thus, the book, uh, that is, Sons and Lovers, set in a coal mining community similar to Lawrence's birthplace, draws heavily from his own experiences and is a deeply felt account of his early home life. So, you see, Sons and Lovers is full of autobiographical, autobiographical elements. My dear students, now I want to give you an idea about uh, the contents that is the part of different part of the uh, novel Sons and Lovers. There are two parts here you see the part in part one you will uh, find eight chapters okay sorry six chapters in part one six chapters and in part two uh, another uh, eight chapters okay then total 15 chapters and it is divided into two parts the part one and part two and uh, in part one uh, I mentioned earlier that is there are six parts. The name of those parts uh, I am declaring it or I am telling it uh, according to the sequence that is part one the early married life of the morals to the birth of Paul and another battle number three and uh, that is chapter three the casting off of moral the taking on of William. Then chapter 4, the young life of Paul. Chapter 5, Paul launches into life. Then part, um, chapter 6, death in the family. And that's all about part 1. And part 2, uh, chapter 7, lad and girl love. Eight, chapter 8, strife in love. Chapter 9, Defeat of Miriam. Chapter 10, Clara. And the title of Chapter 11, The Test on Miriam. 12, Passion. 13, Baxter Doyce. Then 14, The Release. And finally, that is Chapter 15, Delict. Okay. That's all about the contents of the novel sons and lovers my dear students uh, no more today in our uh, in our next class i will introduce you uh, with the characters of the novel that is major characters and minor characters and i will also try to analyze the characters okay that's all no more today see you again in our next class till then goodbye allah hafiz Thank you.